If you're still making wireframe grids the hard way, stop right now. Let me show you a game changer. Start with a plane and subdivide it as much as needed. To change the direction of your quads, select all the faces, go to face poke faces. Next, convert the triangulated faces back to quads by pressing Alt J while all the faces are selected. This gives you a clean and organized quad layout. Now for the fun part, add a wireframe modifier. Instantly, you'll get a stunning grid structure. Adjust the thickness to customize your design. Want more detail? Add a subdivision surface modifier. Not happy with the shape? No problem. A quick crease edges adjustment will fix it. Play with the crease values to create artistic cutouts or patterned holes. Here's a pro tip. By playing with the crease values, you can also use this as a pattern for cutouts or decorative holes. Shade smooth for a polished finish and voila, you've got a fully adjustable design. The possibilities are endless with this method. Whether it's fences, grids, or intricate patterns, you can now create them quickly and easily. If you found this helpful, follow for more tips and tricks and drop a comment below with what you'd like to see next. Let's keep blending smarter.